platform is a pretty expensive project. Um, you mentioned in a previous episode that you didn't take any investments, so how did you do it? Sure, yeah, so that's right, we didn't take any investment. Um, we funded the project completely ourselves and we did this by saving money from our consulting business. So we previously, and actually we still currently, run a social media and digital marketing consultancy uh, where we have both consulted and worked on project basis with clients and over the past 18 months we just made sure that we saved all the profits from that business which allowed us to have the capital to pay for the platform and set up this new business. And how much are your like monthly costs for running the platform? Right now the monthly costs are very low. Um, initially it was more expensive because we were playing development um, and as the platform was being built the milestones were pretty much set up monthly so we were paying the bill for the platform monthly so that was quite expensive but now that the platform's complete the monthly costs are just for keeping the servers up and running a um, little bit of marketing budget um, so we can, we can pretty much run it with very limited funds um, but obviously if we want to scale then the more money you put in the more you get out but but technically very cheap at the minute. Um, paying money from your own pocket to fund this project have you ever been nervous since you outsourced it that you were going to get ripped off? Uh, yeah I think in the beginning uh, when you first start a relationship with an outsourced development company of course you don't know what the outcome is going to be. You take a little bit of a leap of faith and cross your fingers, but you can minimize the risk as well by doing your background research, following up with their previous project um, references. So you can call up the, the people that have hired them before and double check, or you go on their website and send them an email. Um, so we did all that to try and minimize the risk, but of course, especially if it's your first time building something outsourced or even building something at all then you're going to have it in the back of your mind that perhaps you're going to get ripped off. And how did you make sure that like the costs didn't go like outside of the frames or escalated? Um, we built a really specific product requirement document. So this is a document that specifies exactly all the features and functionality that we wanted in the platform. And then this allowed the developers to set a very structured um, plan for how they're going to build it, which means you can manage your costs. And also then um, it sets the expectations of the amount of work that's going to be done. So then on our side, if things are running over or we felt like a milestone or a sprint was taking too long, then we could set um, fixed prices for those milestones to make sure that you know, something that should only take 100 hours to develop didn't take, or if it took 200 hours, we only paid for the 100 which we had agreed on. Did you have to compromise on anything? Um, yes, I think a first version is always a compromise. Um, I would say that we had quite grand vision of what V-Real could be, and it will, will be in the future. But you have to realize that your first version doesn't have to be the most basic version of the product, but it, when you're funding it yourself, you have to realize that you can't achieve your end goal immediately. And you release a version which is going to be favorable and provide value to both the clients and the pilots. And then from there, you build on that. So you must make sure that you launch with enough value to interest people. And then as you grow, you can introduce new features and scale up the product to this great vision that we had in the beginning. What has the feedback been so far from the people using the platform? Uh, feedback has been good, actually. I think we had a few problems with bugs in the beginning, which 
may have been frustrating for the pilots, but they were really understanding. And then as soon as the bugs were fixed, they were super happy because it's really easy user interface to upload their videos and get their content out there. Cool. So what is your number one tip for someone who might be doing another business today or who is working for someone else but is dreaming about launching their own platform or app? Um, from an economical point of view. From an economical point of view, I think it's really important to understand the full cost of a platform um, and then set a plan. Setting a plan is super important. So if you, like we did, we knew that we had to save this X amount of money each month by this date to be able to afford the first payment for the platform and then as we went we knew which milestones costed which amount of money and how much money we would have to have saved from our previous business which meant we knew how much we had to work, how many projects we had to book, those types of things. So I think it's just really important to have a really clear plan and structure of what the costs are and how you're going to meet those costs. Is it by employment or by taking on projects or um, you know however you're going to raise the money. Uh, that's probably the most important. What about borrowing money from friends and family? Um, I think if you can do it and you're not going to ruin relationships because there's no guarantee that they're going to get that money back, then do it. But for us, we, we wanted to do it on our own and not take that risk because when you do something completely new from any of your previous experiences, you, you have no guarantees and that's not a conversation I wanted to have with any of my family or friends to his time the line. Cool, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of Founders Friday. If you have a question or something you'd like to see in next week's episode, please leave us a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the new year.